tried. I keep trying. I just keep grace, grace, grace. Like grace just have to keep short. Stop it. Stop it and listen. Listen. You That's your problem. And that's been your problem. From day one, this right here has been your problem. I'm glad I can't hear what you're saying. Because if you're talking some, some about my phone died, this, that, this, that, fifth, fifth, the third. I told Miss Stevenson, she at home. She got COVID. She can't go nowhere. That means the device should be plugged into the wall. What's going on, Miss Garrett? Because again, just like before, I already said she's going to jail. Then she's going to pop up after I say she's going to jail. Like, I'm sick of this. All right. I'm going to do Miss Get. She. Ms. Garrett left. <sighs> Ms. Stevenson, I'm going to read this. I I'm getting ready to call the case. I'm getting ready to call the Garrett case, and I'm going to read this. And I'm going to tell you what I'm getting ready to do with Ms. Garrett. Okay. This is case number 19-446-2002. The people of the state of Michigan versus Ayanna Monet Garrett. The defendant is charged with one count of assault or assault battery. Today is a date set. For her review. Ms. Stevenson, your appearance, please. Janice Stevenson appearing on behalf of Ayania Garrett. All right. Ms. Garrett is not present currently. She was in the waiting room. Ms. Garrett does this every time she comes to court. She has an excuse. She has internet issues. She comes, she goes, she can't wait, she impatient, all of this. And then um that would be almost. It, um, I would almost give grace and mercy for that, except when I read this report, I'm tired of Miss Miss Garrett. So she, t you said that she came down to court uh, allegedly with COVID because she didn't want to go to jail. Well, that's not what uh, um. Uh, that's not what Miss McCall said, and we both know that we respect Miss McCall, and that we don't think Miss McCall would make up anything. Miss McCall said the defendant reported that she did not want to comply, and she would rather go to jail. She said she's tired of us. She don't have nobody to take care of her kids. She uh, so she she can't do the community service. She can't do the marijuana program and she don't have any money. So I'm going to help her with her request. Before you finish that, uh, okay. I, I think that the court brought to my attention a subsequent conversation that Ms. McCall had with Ms. Garrett after something after that one. Where? Where that's at? Um, let me see if I can find it. Because this right here, it says, good morning, your honor. Last virtual hearing was April 4th. On July 6th, she was instructed to come to court. The probation was reinstated. The defendant reported that she did not want to do this. She wanted to go to jail. She also indicated that the case is hindering her. Oh, you saying right there, she changed her mind about going to jail? Yes, Judge. Yes. Okay, but she didn't really. You want to know why she didn't change her mind about going to jail? Yes, Judge. She keeps doing everything that's put, going to put her in jail. I'm sick of Miss Garrett. I'm just going to tell you the truth. I'm sick of Miss Garrett. She's supposed to be in person right now. She's, she was supposed to come in person today. And Miss Garrett came on Zoom. She called you a million times and told Miss. Uh, McCall that they are testing positive for COVID. I miss Miss Garrett going to jail. I mean, I don't even know what else to say to you, but we'll we'll I miss I'm KPS and Miss Garrett today and Miss Garrett going to jail. So we'll come back to Miss Garrett at the end of the docket, but it's unacceptable. So if she has COVID and her and whatever, then she should be sitting up at home with no reason for not being on this Zoom, none. She has nowhere to go and no place to be because she has uh, allegedly she has COVID. 
All right, I'm moving on. And now I'm ready for. I mean, can I just say in her defense, I know that she was zoomed in. You could time um, it, in, but nope, I moved on. I'm okay, Judge. Garrett. I'm sick of Miss Garrett. There's no reason she's at home. Therefore, her device is can be plugged into the socket. That's true, Judge. Yeah, I know. Miss Garrett is capious and she's going to jail. Okay. Miss Miss Garrett, I already heard your case, and I'm not gonna keep doing this with you. Um, you, you I'm not gonna keep doing this with you. I'm not, I'm not, I've tried, I'm tried, I've tried, I tried, I tried, I keep trying. I just keep grace, grace, grace. Like grace just have to keep short. Stop it, stop it and listen, listen. You that's your problem. And that's been your problem. From day one, this right here has been your problem. This exchange has been your problem. And the problem is I don't have to do it. That's the problem for you. I don't have to do this. And the fact that grace has to continue to show up for you, the fact that mercy has to continue to show up for you, it's exhausting. It is completely exhausting. The fact that you're supposed to be in person today and you're saying everybody got COVID, but yet you can't stay in the breakout room, uh, I mean, in the waiting room. I'm glad I can't hear what you're saying. Cause if you're talking some, some about my phone died, this, that, this, that, fifth, fifth, the third. I told Miss Stevenson, she at home, she got COVID. She can't go nowhere. That means the device should be plugged into the wall. It's exhausting. I'm completely exhausted. I'm exhausted. Miss Stevenson, do you need her in the breakout room? You already talked to her in the breakout room. What's going on, Miss Gary? Because I, again, just like before, I already said she's going to jail. Then she's going to pop up after I say she's going to jail. Like, I'm sick of this. I'm, I'm literally sick of it. Have you already talked to Miss Garrett? I spoke with her yesterday, Your Honor, but I would like to speak with her briefly about what's been happening this morning. Okay, it, because it's, it's okay. ridiculous. It's exhausting. I'm, I'm exhausted. Like, I need to get some rest. It's exhausting, exhausting exhausting we are on a 10 minute break okay thank you your honor oh well then give us a minute miss frowner i'm gonna see what time they could talk to you okay okay all right all right i'm ready on garrett hearing on behalf of Ms. ayanya garrett Ms. garrett ma'am please unmute and tell the judge your full name Unmute. Unmute. Ayana Garrett. What's your middle name? My name. Miss Stevenson. So I am going to say, Your Honor, that um, that Ms. Garrett has been working with Dr. Alexander of Care. Um, she's been doing anger manage with him, management with him. Um, I think she met with him most recently last week. She would have met with him tomorrow, but for the fact that um, he asked her to reschedule due to her um, current physical condition. Um, so I am going to ask the court to continue to work with Ms. Garrett, Your Honor. I know that for this has long? been... For how long? I'm wore out. I'm, I'm, I'm wore out. Yeah. I mean, I remember Miss Garrett. I remember when she came in person. I remember what she told me. I remember. But listen, somebody sometimes you got to put some skin in the game and you got to, you know, we got to we, we can't I can't keep doing this. I, I'm not I'm not going to be. Let me tell you. It's giving uh, Norman vibes. OK, that's all I'm telling you. It's giving Norman vibes and I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm trying to work with Ms. Garrett. I'm trying to work with you, but I'm not going to be able to do this. There are some things that no matter what you're going through can be obtained. Sitting up straight, coming to court, having your device, that 
it doesn't matter what a person is going through unless they are just, you know, paralyzed and got to lay down. Unless they on bed rest and got to lay down. It's some stuff that can, that can, I mean, I don't know why you doing that. That's what I'm talking about right there. I didn't ask you to show me your feet, legs, belly, or nothing. A part of your problem is you won't listen. You won't listen. I didn't ask you to prove anything to me. I'm making a statement about the fact of how you have been behaving all day. Whether or not your feet are on the floor, you are leaned forward with your arm to your face. It is inappropriate. It is inappropriate. When you come into the courtroom, you are standing straight up at the podium. Therefore, when you are on Zoom, you should be straight up and ready to attend court. But yet every single time, Ms. Garrett, I have to have this conversation with you and you do not show any contriteness you do not show, judge, I'm trying to do it. Judge is hard. You always got a smart comeback and all of that. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I am sick of it. I'm sick of it. So this whole woe is me and please y'all help me, but you're not cooperating with the help. I'm sick of it. This whole, my grandmother came or my mother, came, I forgot who came. My grandmother came to help me watch the kids. You're, you're sure not showing no appreciation. I'm going to get it together because they came all the way here to help me. I'm here by myself. Seems like to me, if, if that's the case, then every time we come on here, it should be smooth sailing. The judge is giving me so much grace and mercy. I'm so thankful. I was going to revoke your probation before. But yet here I am again, giving this same speech to you again. Well, let me tell you something. I'm not going to care about your family more than you do. I'm not going to care about your freedom more than you do. So we might go back to that original statement that you told Ms. McCall that you didn't want to do this and you just want to go to jail. Because guess what? I don't want to do it either. And I just want to send you to jail. So you're either going to come on here with a different attitude or that's what it's going to be. And you're not going to care and I'm not going to care. And it's just going to be two people not caring. Your client want to speak, Miss Stevenson. Yeah, I guess at this point, Your Honor, um, I think that the best thing for Ms. Garrett would be um, to, to prepare for that meeting with, with Dr. Alexander. Um, and, and we would ask the court to, to continue the matter. Um, I, I believe that based upon my last, okay, actually, Ms. Garrett wants to talk. So yeah, um, let her talk, unmute, let her unmute and talk. You're saying no. All I was just saying was the last time that we met, and I'm not making this ability, remind you, I kept coming back because I was unable to make those payments the way I was. You were supposed to set up some type of specialty court. No one never, ever reached out to me. I did all the researching that I could and got all the help that I could within an amount of time. But no one never reached out to me from the specialty court. So I never got no assistance. I want to know what that had to do with Miss Garrett in the court. In the court. Uh, 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 I'm not hemmed up. I'm on the back of a wall. I'm sitting on the floor. It's not that I'm hemmed up. My body is aching. My back and my body. I have COVID. My body is aching. I barely. I'm sitting behind the couch because I can't take the sunlight, ma'am. I am going through something right now. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. I'm and I really, I, I really do apologize and I really do appreciate the chances and the things that you have helped me do. 
and kept giving me chance after chance. It's not that I'm sitting here begging for chances or I'm saying that I'm unable or I'm un I'm, I'm not capable, which I am able to do everything that you're asking me. And I'm trying, like I said, it was just, I never received the help that you said that you were going to allow me to help. You said that you were going to contact some specialty people. I never got those calls from those people and I'm not using that as an excuse. I just really would have liked it. The extra help that you were offering me the last time when we were on Zoom. I mean, I don't know where to go from there. So um, in that she does have this relationship set up at this point with Dr. Alexander. Um, Is she talking about Mr. Patel? I don't know who the specialty people are. So that's, I, I don't know who the I don't know whoever you said that you I'm were talking to Ms. Stevenson. before. I'm talking to Ms. Stevenson. Ms. Stevenson, did I refer her to to the street outreach for um i i don't think Is so that, your honor i think it was through whatever um resources ms mccall would have available i think that's where we're headed let, let's just see if we can give mr patel her phone number because she okay. grace and mercy running out let's give mr patel Let's give her, let's give her Mr. Patel's phone number and give Mr. Patel her phone number. And I have not known Mr. Patel not to contact somebody, but it could be, it could be, it could be the case because no situation is perfect. And Mr. Mate Mr. Patel could be getting overwhelmed, just like Mr. Rice is overwhelmed probably with all the people that I keep sending now. <laughs> but let's just make it happen so I just put her all in February we got plenty of time it's just are we going to be able to take up the plenty of time all right oh Miss Stevenson I'm getting ready to send you this I forgot to send this to you um remember it doesn't have anything to do with miss um i'm gonna just i'll tell you after we finish okay. all right um so when is miss T uh, when is miss garrett gonna come back to me after she i want i want to give it plenty of time for mr patel to contact her for her to contact mr patel and for her to Continue to, I think Miss Miss McCall must have referred her to this other person that you're telling me about. Yes. All right. Yeah. So let's 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 get it done. Are we? Oh, we are live. Okay. Yes. Ninety days. Is yes, that please. Yes, right. Your Honor. Ninety days. Do. You, well, you have her phone number and stuff because she was texting you saying about the yes, I do. situation. So this is July, August, September, October. October, let's come back. October the one do the twentieth, October twentieth or the thirteenth. Twentieth, please, Your Honor. October twentieth. And the only specialty people that I think miss. Garrett could be talking about is um whoops Mr. Patel. That's all that's the only thing coming to my mind. Otherwise, she would be talking about uh drug court, sobriety court. And I don't think I was referring Ms. Garrett to sobriety court unless you have some different information. Oh, I don't. And I know that um there was even some, I'm just wondering about the street outreach court because there was some conversation about. Um, some type of special assistance, which Ms. Garrett indicated she she wanted to work um, and take care of her family, that she um, 
didn't want to have any kind of public assistance um, or anything like that. I already have found the job. I'm sorry to cut you off. Uh, Miss McCall got me hooked up with some temporary agency. I worked there for one week at the zoo, but due to my background, they said that I had to wait um, until my stuff came back because I had something pending. And when it came back, it was my probation. She said that I needed to get it written off because they really didn't allow people who were still on uh, probation. You had to be a, either off of paperwork or a felon that already had got just like a closed felon or something, not an open case. You can't be on probation. So that's probably why we never did send her to the specialty people because she already had got a job and something else. Let's just connect her with Mr. Patel and let them work that out. Yep, and I even got proof that I was working as well. I got a um, pay stub. All right. Up. October 20th at okay. 10 o'clock. Thank you very much, Your Honor. You're very welcome. Have a great day. Stay safe. Have a good weekend. You wears me out, Miss Stevenson. <laughs> Your Honor, I've um, talked to probation and for Miss Frounder. Oh, Miss Frown left. Miss Frown gone.